everybody this is 22 tiger dude here and i'm here to review everybody loves somebody so everybody loves somebody is directed by catalina aguilar mastretta hopefully i pronounced that right and the film stars carla souza jose maria yaspic and ben o'toole so everybody loves somebody is about clara who is this OBGYN doctor she has a loving family and she's single life is going good for her but there's one thing that hasn't been so good for her and that is her love life so when her family has a wedding in Mexico she's forced to bring in a Mexican boyfriend so she asks one of her co-workers to come along with her except he's not Mexican so when she and this co-worker go to this Mexican wedding out for the weekend she runs into her ex-husband and so now Clara must decide whether she wants to be with this co-worker or if she wants to get back together with her ex husband so everybody loves somebody is a film i had no idea about and i am not kidding when i say that i had no idea what this film was until i got notified that i have an advanced screening for this film so basically if i didn't have an advanced screening for this film i don't know if i would be reviewing it because I had no idea this film even exists until I got notified that there was a screening in my area. I went to this one very blind. I didn't know what the plot was. And coming out of Everybody Loves Somebody, I wasn't a fan of this film to be honest. In fact, I hated this movie. Because for one thing, it's your cliched woman has to decide who she wants to be with. It's where she has to decide between two men. I can't stand those stories. Those are not really my ideas of a nice romantic movie because this is a romantic comedy and this film is in both English and Spanish. But I will say, before I get more into my negatives for this film, I will say as far as positives, the actors actually do do a pretty dang good job like as far as the lead characters I thought Carla Sousa I hope that's how you pronounce her name she did a very good job as the role of Clara there's actually charm that she brings to the screen and although I was not a fan of her character Clara I have to say the actress actually did a good job like I have to give credit where credit is due she did do a good job acting this film like I said there's charm that she brings to this film I only recognize her really from instructions is not included which is a really good movie but that's like the only movie I was familiar with her on but seeing her as like the lead uh, character this time I thought she did a good job honestly I thought Ben O'Toole did a very good job as Asher who is the one that works with Clara at the hospital he's the one that plays the co-worker now I have to say there's some charm and likability to this guy as well I actually did really like him and I will say he does have the most likable character in this film too like of all all the characters he his character is the one I did find myself caring for the most and then there is Jose Maria Yespic who plays the character of Daniel Carlos Zusa's ex-husband and he did a good job as well and as far as the supporting characters I thought the actors were either okay or good so no one was really bad here per se there's moments here and there where I kind of laughed and that's really just moments here and there I really did not laugh a whole lot I will say the last 20 minutes of this film wasn't bad whereas I thought most of this film was really bad the last 20 minutes was tolerable it was all right it's not good per se but it's just okay it's tolerable there's some cute moments in there there are even actually some good messages that i really appreciate it and i will say that the cinematography for the film is pretty decent it has pretty decent cinematography i'll say that but my problems with Everybody Loves Somebody, why I could not get into this film, why I couldn't even find this film tolerable besides for the last 20 minutes, it's because, like I said, 
it has the number one thing I can't stand, and that's when you have your cliched character having to choose what, who she wants to be with, and it gets really old, and it also is worse when I don't even find myself caring for these characters. As good as these actors are, I don't really care about Clara. With everything that her character does, it's really questionable. Like, I was really questioning her character, and then you also have the husband and Daniel who you just question him as well like Clara as much as you want to care about her as much as you want to see where she's coming from you know on one scene she'll be with Daniel but then the other scene she'll be with Asher and then the other scene she'll be with Daniel and then she'll be with Asher and then even this poor character Asher has to kind of deal with the fact that she may want to go towards the ex-husband and I'm all like this movie is really expensive expecting me to care about this crap? This movie really makes me want to care for these characters. It really tries, but I'm just finding myself caring about these characters even less. Like I said, I did care about the Asher character. He's likable, but not really Clara, not really Daniel, and that's why it was just so hard to sit through this movie. It was so frustrating, and not to mention that the comedy falls flat on its face. This movie tries so hard to be funny with its more awkward dialogue and it just wasn't working. Towards the beginning of the movie when they do go to that Mexican wedding, oh man, when she sees her ex-husband, when she runs into her ex-husband, and then when Asher is there, oh my god, that was awkward. Like, it wasn't even funny awkward. It was just plain awkward. The minute you see Clara, Daniel, and Asher in the same screen, oh my god. And then the movie even shoehorns Clara's sister because we do follow Clara's sister and she has like some kind of issue with her husband and I didn't think that was necessary. I did not think that had to be in the film at all. Every time it would cut to Clara's sister and her issue with her husband, I'm all like, can we, can we just cut this crap? I was kind of begging just for them to go back to Asher, not specifically Clara, because I really did not care when the film would cut to Clara. But whenever the film would cut to Asher, you know, even if he was with Clara, who I really did not like, the scenes when Asher and Clara are talking, I do think are some of the more interesting scenes. I think they might actually be the best scenes, honestly. Besides for maybe the scenes when they're making out, I'm just all like, yeah, I really don't care. Oh yeah, and surprisingly, the scenes where Clara is talking to this pregnant woman and the husband because, you know, she works as the doctor. So whenever we cut to those scenes, I will say I found those interest those scenes to be interesting as well as funny. Those were probably the funniest scenes to me. And the direction isn't bad per se, but I didn't think it was really anything all that special either. I thought direction-wise it was... Uh, it was just in the middle, honestly. Nothing great, nothing bad, but as far as direction, I wasn't really all that impressed with how it was directed. With this film, it just goes so all over the place, from Clara with Daniel or Clara with Asher. It was just really bothersome to me. And then, of course, not to mention that this film is so freaking predictable. Seriously, I called out every thing that was gonna happen in this film. It was seriously just bugging the hell out of me because predictability does not bother me as long as I'm invested in the story, but because I just found myself so frustrated with the storyline, because I found myself so frustrated with the characters of Clara and Daniel. Like, why couldn't this film follow maybe Asher? Why couldn't they even follow Clara's mother? Clara's mother was more interesting, actually, than Clara. Like, there's especially one scene towards the end between Clara and her mother that I really really liked. But no, we have to follow the people that I seriously could not give a crap about. Overall, Everybody Loves Somebody is a film that I went in blind and I came out of this film loathing it. I did not care about Clara. I did not care about her ex-husband Daniel. The movie actually made me feel very bad for Asher because you could tell Asher really wanted to be with Clara, but Clara is like so full of herself. I thought the dialogue felt very forced, the comedy falls flat a lot of the times, the film is so unbelievably predictable 
predictable and so generic. When I came out of this film, not only did I hate the film, but it's very, very forgettable. If you like these kind of stories, I would say go out and see this film. But if you're not a fan of these kind of stories like I am, I personally don't recommend seeing this film. I'm going to give Everybody Loves Somebody one and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, if you have seen this film, let me know what did you think about Everybody Loves Somebody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!